One annoying developer experience wart when using Angular is the necessity of double imports. Let's say I have this component that I want to use in some other component. In most other frameworks, you would likely import the component into the file and then reference it in the template. In Angular, we don't just reference the class name in the template, we reference the selector defined in the metadata for that component. If a TypeScript class were being used, the Angular compiler could easily see that this component depends on this component from this file. Since we're not using the TypeScript class, to solve this ambiguity for Angular, we manually list the component in the imports array. Now it knows that this component depends on this component from this file. In Analog's SFC file format, we dealt with this by using import attributes to specify that a specific import should be added to the imports array. But this is really still the same problem, perhaps just dressed up in slightly nicer clothes. It'd be better if the problem just went away entirely. The Angular team recently dropped this prototype PR of an implementation that would see these double imports removed by just referencing the TypeScript class in the template. It's not as straightforward as it might sound though, as this new approach needs to support all of the features Angular currently has, and how exactly that will be accomplished will likely be debated over the coming months. But we can get an idea of the starting point by looking at the example provided in the PR. That might look like a bit much since it's jamming everything into one example. So let's break it down a bit. At the most basic level, we could just add a component in the template like this. Attributes and inputs would work just as you'd expect. And then we get into the first sort of special syntax when we look at how we would apply a directive to a component. This would apply the sum directive directive to the counter component. And we could supply inputs directly to that directive like this. And then the original example of the map button is more of a specialized syntax, which would in this case use an anchor element as the host for the map button. Again, this is all very early and we will likely see an RFC at some point for community feedback, but how do you feel about it? Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you feel so inclined, a like or subscribe before you go would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you back here again.